flipping the dream and I wanted to come on here and do a uh, quick tutorial on how to build one of our custom lifting belts. Uh, we recently launched those and after months and months of uh, hard work. So we're very, very, very excited to launch them. And here's your quick tutorial on how to build one. Okay, so from the main page, there's a link up top called custom belts in the navigation bar. You're going to click that. It's going to bring you to our custom belt page. And from here, you can see we have sizes extra, extra small up to 3XL. You're going to measure yourself first with a measuring tape. It is a requirement for one of our custom belts. We want to make sure that the belt that I sew for you is the belt that is going to fit you because there are no returns, no exchanges on custom belts whatsoever. This is a belt designed just for your lovely self. So click on the size chart and watch this video at about one minute. I'll walk you through how to do your measurement and about minute 245-ish to about three minutes. Uh, I'll show you how to how your belt is going to fit. So put your measurement in this chart here. It'll spit out what size we recommend for you. Now if you're between sizes, uh, we call it, you know, on the cusp of two sizes, it's recommended that you go choose the lower size of the two. For example, 32 inches is on the high end of a medium and on the low end of a large. The last thing we want is the belt to be too big on you. So we're going to recommend that you go with the medium so that you have some room to kind of move around it and tighten it as it is supposed to be. It's supposed to create intra-abdominal pressure. And if your belt is too big and cannot be tightened any further while not providing that pressure, it's going to be too big for you and it's going to be a disaster with a custom belt. So <laughs> measure yourself, measure, measure, measure. Do not use your pants measurement. They are not anywhere near what you're supposed to be uh, using your weightlifting belt for. So just don't even do that. <laughs> so uh, if you're now, if you're going to be if you plan on bulking and it's in your programming and you know that you're going to be fluctuating with inches upwards, it's probably, and you're going to be sitting there for a good while, it might be okay to get a large, but do not be alarmed if you are going through a bulking phase and your large belt is too big on you when you start your cutting phase. Uh, so go ahead, use your discretion on what size belt you are going to get. Uh, for this purpose, we're going to pick a medium. Then you're going to go down to customize this belt, click that. And as you can see, we have a bunch of fabric choices. We'll go over the custom option in a second. So you just click on through. Some of these don't display as perfectly as I would like, but you know, computer programs. So this is the one that I created. This is the mermaid sequins option that I created on our IG sh stories and shared there. If you saw that, that's this fabric here. And then here's our custom fabric option. So this one is, it's an added cost because it is extra time that we have to take to procure that fabric. So for this purpose, let's do the 90s cheetah. If you know, you know, and I don't need to say. <laughs> so this is the 90s cheetah with the bright, beautiful colors. It won't look exactly like this because each bolt of fabric is different and the piece that we cut for your specific belt is going to be different. Now, if you have a preference and maybe you do want some of these orange colors in there, go ahead and leave a note on when you get to the checkout screen or send us a message after you've placed your order and let us know hey, can you include some of the orange pieces? Happy to try and do that for you. And I'll explain more how that happens here in a second. So let's start with the 90s cheetah. And then we're gonna go to the top, the bottom, and you don't see them here, but the sides, the entire trim on your belt. And it can be any one of these colors. Some colors are special order, so they will take 
a little bit of extra time to come in. Ooh, I like that orange. That looks good. But I'm loving the teal. Let's go with teal while we build our belt here. If you do the rainbow, the rainbow doesn't show up amazingly on here, but it is actually rainbow. So you will have red on one side, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple onto the other side, you know, so it'll be a little bit split, but it's, it's beautiful. I love it. So let's go to the teal. Let's choose teal. And here's your strap color. So this is your strap color with the Velcro. Uh, Velcro is really hard to get the colors to match the strap color exactly. So we will do our absolute best. It's very possible we may have to use black and it depends on the color, but we do not offer Velcro option as a color to choose from because it's just so, there's just so many uh, unknowns with the materials there. So we will, fear not, we will make it look as good as possible. So now that we got our strap color, let's see. I like the black. Let's go purple. I like how that purple is matching. So we'll go with purple. So embroidery here, I'll just put in, I'll put in my name and I'll make it bigger and let's leave it block. Block's cool, but you know, there's a bunch of different font options here. I'm kind of thinking, let's go with orange. See how the orange matches that portion. This is what I was talking about earlier, where if you would like your thread to kind of match some of the base, just let us know. Just throw a note in the in the notes at checkout and say, hey, you know, can you choose more of the orange part of the fabric so that it matches my thread? I got you, no problem. So once I got that in there, this is where you're gonna put you in your measurements. So I'm gonna put 31, got my total here and add to cart. It's gonna take just a second. And then here it is, you're all good to check out to leave a note. Click leave a note with your order. Please, please choose more of the orange part of this fabric to match the thread on the embroidery. And I will do my absolute best to make sure that, that happens, but I'm going to build your belt based off of this picture and based off of the options that you chose in here. And I will do my best to send prog progress photos throughout the process. Um, I can't promise anything because it depends on how many orders we have going through. And on that note, our current turnaround time that we're asking for is three to four weeks. However, it definitely can be shorter. It just depends on how many, how many orders are sitting in our queue at that time. And it's just me. It's just me sewing them. So it's very possible, you know, I may message you and say, hey, I need, you know, an additional two weeks because I'm waiting on this color fabric to come in or this color trim to come in. And definitely we'll communicate. That's my biggest, biggest, biggest pet peeve and thing that I try and uh, do the most of is communicate. So there we have it. That's how you create your custom belt. If you have any questions at all, message us. If you have any questions about your order after you've, you've placed it, message us hello at liftingthedream.com or you can shoot us a message on Instagram. We're very responsive uh, on there as well. And if you liked this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Super helpful for our small business. Really, truly appreciate it. While we continue to grow this channel and we'll see you next time.